hey what's up guys i'm jagat and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to share the first ride experience and the specification of ford freestyle 2019 model so let's get started i recently bought this car by exchanging my old ford figo i have also made a video regarding that if you all have not watched it i'll drop a link in the description below or you all have the cards you all can go check it out so freestyle is placed above figo and below eco sport the car looks compact starting off with the exteriors on the front we have the grill with matte black finish to it it suits perfectly then we have the headlights and indicators now moving on to the back side on the center as we can see we have got the ford logo on left hand side it is mentioned as freestyle On right side, it is mentioned as TDCA. Then we have got the tail light and indicators. Then below it, as we can see, we have got parking sensors. It has nice details and good finish. Overall, it looks very attractive. It looks stylish. It looks compact. It comes with 1498 cc TDCA diesel engine which produces 98 bhp of max power and 215 newton meters of torque. Now moving on to brakes and tires. On front side we get disc brakes and on the rear side we get drum brakes. So we get 185 bar 60 R15 tires. For spare wheel we get 175 bar 65 R14 tires. Moving on to the suspension, on front we get independent McPherson suspension. On rear side we get semi-independent suspension. Now moving on to interiors. See while entering, we have got freestyle mentioned over here for both driver and passenger seats. And as we can see, we have got full black seats and black dashboards. So this place is completely empty, can keep our wallet or mobile phones. Then we have got lots of places for water bottles. This is the dashboard, let me open it. So as we can see the dashboard looks small. So we get two power windows and two normal windows. On front side we get the power windows. So as we can see this is the instrument cluster we have got the speedometer then we have got fuel meter rpm meter has been given a miss on this model so as we can see this is the key then below it as we can see we have got the small the digital odometer trip meter distance to empty and so on On left side we have got the switch for wipers, on right side we have got the turn indicators, just on top of it we have got button, we can actually navigate through odometer, trip meter, distance to empty and so on using this button. See we have got headlight switch, button for opening the boot, we have got the small vent for actually keeping some papers like tall papers and so on. So this is the first ride of Ford Freestyle. So as we can see, I'm now going through city traffic. The pickup, as you all can see, is great. 
also as we can see in third gear without any lag or hiccups the car actually pulls very nicely the steering feels so light i am able to drive comfortably in one hand so then next if you all see the indicator is actually placed on the right side so previously in mefigo it was actually placed on the left side so now it's opposite on left hand side we have the wipers and on the right side we have the turn indicators has got 42 liters of fuel tank capacity port claims mileage of 24 kilometers per liter so in city traffic conditions i got approximately 14 kilometers per liter to 16 kilometers per liter and in the highways i got 20 kilometers per liter bad roads speed breakers no issues thanks to the high ground clearance and suspension after driving through city traffic now it is the time for highways without any difficulties i was able to cruise at 120 km per hour so now let's check the leg room so as we can see i am able to stretch my legs fully and as you all can see i have got the headrest so the comfort is actually very good okay so now i am at the back seat so now let's check the leg room If you all see the front seat is actually pushed to the maximum level towards the back. So now if you all see the driver seat is actually moved towards the front. The legroom totally depends upon the front two seats on how they are actually positioned. If they are actually pushed towards the back, we actually get very less leg space. If it is actually moved forward, we get enough leg space five people can actually travel in this car but with four people it will be more convenient so on the back seat as we all can see we actually don't have the headrest and next if you all notice my head is actually touching the roof as of the comfort and convenience we get 12 volt charger two power windows keyless entry Now coming to the safety features comes with ABS with EBD dual airbags air parking sensors seat belt reminder door warning then we have got auto door lock Now coming to the dimensions we get 257 liters boot space Five meter turning radius, two thousand four hundred ninety millimeter of wheel base, thousand five hundred and seventy millimeter overall height, three thousand nine hundred and fifty four millimeters of overall length, and overall width of thousand seven hundred and thirty seven millimeters. As of the warning indication, we get low fuel indicator, distance to empty, maintenance warning, water temperature warning light, battery monitor sensor. So for mirrors, we actually get this knob for adjusting. It would have been better if we had power windows. For keeping something in the twent, we have to be opening the door each time, so it could be irritating. If it had been opening like this, it would have been much more better. Audio system would have been really great, but unfortunately, in this ambient model, we actually don't get it. So that's it guys please do subscribe the channel thanks for watching and stay tuned for more